Now, heading into the Iowa caucuses, Fred Thompson was fending off some rumors that he might actually drop out of the race. However, the former Tennessee senator managed to squeak out a third-place finish, narrowly beating his friend Arizona Senator John McCain. The latest polls in New Hampshire have Thompson at just 2 percent. He's not even in the top five. So what lies ahead for Thompson in the Granite State? Well, joining us now is Republican presidential candidate Fred Thompson. Senator, good to see you. Nora, good to see you. Thank you. Good to Thanks. be with you. Thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on uh, capturing the, the bronze, I guess, in Iowa, you could call it. <laughs> yeah, they say there's they say there are three tickets out of there, and I got one. You feel uh, you got let one? Me, let me comment on something something you said, because it, it okay. is kind of interesting. Um, uh, one of, uh, uh, of the campaigns, of course, put out uh, the word to the media that I was thinking about dropping out of the race. I was in the mid middle of a 50-city tour in Iowa. My numbers were coming up. I went from nowhere. Uh, to third place, and they bought into the notion that I was going to drop out of the race a day or two before uh, we had the election. And, the, and some in the media, you know, like a bunch of little kittens with a bowl of milk, they just lapped it up. And I had to spend the last two days answering <laughs> questions about, it, it was I going to drop out of the race? Probably cost me two or three points. But all's well, it ends well, and uh, we came out of there. Uh, uh, well, Senator, we, uh, but you know that two or three... <clears throat> Two or three points, though, would not have gotten you second place, as you well know. No, it, it, it wouldn't. Yeah. But, uh, but it would have uh, it would have uh, uh, it would have been a higher number than I got. Uh, you know, uh, right. third third uh, third place used to be considered a pretty good thing. Nobody's mentioning it much now. Uh, uh, you know, Giuliani and McCain, you know, apparently have different rules that are being applied to them. Uh, nobody's talked about the downside of uh, them coming in lower. Uh, than that, although, although John was, of course, by a narrow margin. But uh, we did what we needed to do, and now it's about South Carolina. To me, you're absolutely right. We're not competitive in New Hampshire, and we won't uh, be campaigning there other than to go in for the debates, uh, uh, which are tomorrow night and, and Sunday night. But it's about uh, South Carolina, and, and, and we could wind up winning South Carolina uh, and going into uh, Super Tuesday, uh, most of us, uh, the three of us, uh, top uh, candidates having won one primary uh, each. And uh, we'd be going into my neck of the woods, so to speak. So it put me in a good position. So I'm, I'm feeling Senator, good about where up, I am right now. You bring up something very interesting <clears throat> about uh, South Carolina. And we did take another look at the polls, which do show you about third in South Carolina yeah. right now. Uh, there's I mentioned, been a uh, lot of money spent there. Um, um, uh, uh, by the other candidates where I've not uh, uh, done so so far. So that's uh, uh, that's about right, yeah. <clears throat> but but I mentioned uh, you're about third in the polls. I mean, you have a you have a bronze from uh, from Iowa. You need more than just another bronze in South Carolina to continue, right? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. But the race hasn't started there yet. Um, uh, Romney especially has spent all kinds of money there. Uh, others have spent great sums of uh, of money there, and uh, and uh, we we have not. We we spent Can some, but not nearly not nearly what they have. And uh, and when all the attention is focused uh, right there, and by the time we get there, others will have won, but others will have lost also. So the momentum, I think, will be going in the right direction for us. Senator, can I ask you about what you think, though, as a, even a candidate for president, about what happened in Iowa, which is that uh, voters chose the youngest candidates on both sides, the Democratic and Republican side. They chose candidates who were talking about change in this race. Uh, there was an interesting composition of the electorate. Does that signal there's something going on in America, that they want change? And do you believe that, that with your message, that that may not resonate in future states, or even change, Mitt change, Romney's change. message may not if, resonate. If you if you go back, change is a part of almost every election that's run in this nation. It's that we have such short memories. When I ran in 1994, uh, I was talking about change, and we were able to go to Washington and pass five major tax cuts, pass welfare reform, uh, balance the budget for four years in a row, uh, fight for conservative uh, judges, uh, accomplish a, a pro-life voting record, which was 100 percent. Uh, so uh, that was a lot of change under those circumstances. It's always about change because uh, Washington is so inept uh, and spends so much money that we don't have. So mm -hmm. that's totally understandable. But what I'm about is, uh, is uh, adhering to the basic principles that made us a great country and change in the ways that we need to change in terms of, of stopping illegal immigration, 
in terms of, uh, of making sure that our tax structure is competitive in the international marketplace and changing in a way uh, to build our military and our intelligence capabilities uh, so that we can face the challenges of the 21st century. That's changed also, but consistent with the principles that made us a great nation and consistent uh, with the Reagan coalition. All right. Well, Senator Fred Thompson, who tells us he is going to uh, not be spending too much time in New Hampshire except for that debate this weekend, uh, but will be in South Carolina. So uh, we will Absolutely. be watching and hope you hope you join us again. Thanks so much. Hope so, Nora. Thank you. <clears throat>